welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smithy D. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Death Joke and his arena review. So my man, Death Joke, is running a Nihilus lead. He's currently ranked a 45 in the arena. So we need to have a look where we can see to make some improvements or what he may be doing right or wrong. So we're going to have a look at Death Joke's arena rank for the last 30 days. So what we can see for the last 30 days is that his team has kind of been the same. He has increased in level on his characters. So what this tells me that his arena shard is quite new. So we're going to look at Death Joke's collection. And because he's a fairly new player, his current level is 82. As you can see, his highest character currently is Count Dooku, and Count Dooku is gear 10, so he doesn't currently have any gear 11 characters. But that's quite normal considering that the level that he is. The gear 10 characters that we've got really are his Sith. So we've got Count Dooku, we've got Darth Maul, his Savage or Press is currently gear 9, so that may be something that he may be working on because he is running Sith after all. You've got your Rebels over here, they were kind of last meta, but you do need them to unlock Emperor Palpatine at 7 star. So we've got a few Rebels on his roster. We've got his Emperor Palpatine currently at 5 star. So I imagine that he's going to gear up his Rebels so he can take on that Emperor's Demise event to get his Emperor Palpatine to 7 star. And it's especially important that he does get a 7 star Emperor Palpatine because he is running Sith. We can see that your Vader is currently a 6 star, so you definitely want to be working on getting into 7 star for your collection purposes, but you will get the shards from the achievements in due course. The alternative way that you can get more Vader shards would be from the fleet shipments and the shard shop. You're using your Darth Nihilus as your current leader, and he is currently a 4 star. Hopefully, with the Cadence, that he's going to be farmable in a good area. If not, he could potentially be going into a hard node. Sith Trooper is a great character for your team, but we're going to try and build you up a team or a project to really work on. I can see that your Sith Assassin hasn't been worked on as yet, but again, we're going to go into the theory crafting and we're going to try and build you a future squad if you are wanting to continue to use a Nihilus lead. So we're looking at your mods currently and you've got 28 mods that have speed secondaries and in total, you do only have 102 mods. So this is definitely a huge huge area for improvement and I really want you to work on getting some mods. Zetas are extremely important to your progression of the arena so you're going to need to balance out where you're farming mods, where you're farming characters for your starships. But again you're going to need to farm some mods so we're going to draft up a list of what I really want you to be working on. So after seeing your collection I want you to farm mods with your cantina energy. From what I can see from your current roster that health mods would be fitted and achievable with your list of characters. You are in serious need of obtaining some extra mods and look to level mods that are green rarity or higher and mostly with speed secondaries. Speed arrows are a must and I want you to only farm tier 3 of the health mod challenge. I want you to save as much credits as you possibly can and keep checking the mod shop because from time to time you can find some real beauties in there. With your arena team, at the moment you are currently running a Nihilus leadership. For a Nihilus leadership to be effective at the high end of your arena, you're going to need to have some speed secondaries on your mods. A good way around this is Sith Assassin. Sith Assassin is the jar engineer of the Sith. I noticed that you also had Rex and Darth Maul. If you do come into 20 Zetas, I currently would advise to place that into your mall and use him as a leader. Rex leadership can also provide that cleanse and that extra turn meter, which will also help anybody lacking speed secondaries. If you are wanting to stick with your current Nihilus leadership, I would advise that you do gear up both Sith Assassin and Trooper. You could effectively run a Nihilus lead, Maul, Sith Assassin, Count Dooku and Sith Trooper. Sith Trooper will bring that taunt to your team that you currently don't have. Nihilus, Sith Trooper and Assassin are all currently in the Cadence program and they should be farmable within the next 30 days. I'm confident one of these characters will go into a hard node but I am currently unsure which. If I had to guess, I would say Nihilus or Sith Assassin, as these two characters have the biggest impact. 
I want you to keep farming pilots and starships and work towards them Zetas as they are the next big thing for the arena. I want you to do this even if it means that you are farming pilots from the cantina for 3 days per week then farming mods for the other 4 days. You have at least 5 7 star rebels and when Emperor's Demise comes back around I want you to move your best mods and the new mods that you have farmed to these characters and then use them to get your 7 star Emperor Palpatine. Depending where your team is at when you get Emperor Palpatine at 7 star, I would be taking out Savage and putting your Emperor Palpatine in his place. I do hope this advice has been helpful but this would leave you with other areas of the game that you can start farming other characters so you're not locked to just Sith. But at the same time you're increasing your arena rank because you're working on mods that can be moved around they are not locked to your current characters. I will be doing another video on Death Joke in the future to see where he's got to and what else we can improve because at the moment he does have a lot of things that he needs to do to make his team more viable. So what is your thoughts on this? Are you running a Nihilus lead? Are you looking to move away from the Nihilus lead? Let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video then please make sure that you are leaving a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm the Smithy D. May the Force be with you always. Thank you.